Hey, man. Hey, man. You know, it's usually, by the way, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's um, been a minute. Usually, I'm the one who says something stupid at the beginning. Uh, yeah, that's kind of how it goes. But you did. What do you mean? You said, are we going to get comments? Well, that's not a stupid thing to say. It says, live viewer comments show up right here. All right, but we're, we're, we're dude, I almost, I did a complete Joe, oh, whoa, whoa, Joe whoa, Biden. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you struggled a little bit on it's that It's like one. someone pulled the, took the batteries out. <laughs> um, Guys, we are back from a little bit of a hiatus. Um, mm-hmm. I was going to wait until the new Heyman Studios was all set up, but we didn't want to l- let the Australia New Zealand trip get too far into the background. Right. So we wanted to put these out. Um, and so we'll probably have a couple more while Jacob is Jacob is. Can we say? Sure. Moving to Las Vegas, so it, uh, it, hopefully in the process in a couple months, uh, going to be looking at places. Looked at some places while we were here, um, but so but yeah, we will have like a dedicated hey man situation. Mm. Um, and I didn't want us to do any more pods over Zoom or anything like that. Uh, but so many of you reached out, and, uh, and so like, so many people in Australia, and New Zealand asked about yeah about the podcast. Yeah, we were like, yeah, we so this is what it is for now. We'll be back on zoom in a, in a, for a couple months and then we'll be back. We're going to have a new Hey man studio and all that shit, but yep. Hey man. Hey man. So much has been happening. A lot has happened. I think the best thing to do is let's, it's impossible to recap from what's been going on from the last Hey man to now. I don't even know when the last Hey man was. Me neither. It was just, I was just saying it was impossible because I didn't want to say I don't fucking remember. Yeah. Well, you know, I think everybody knew that. I think, I well, think everybody like knew my, that about you. Do you like my scarf? He's wearing it just so you guys know he's wearing a scarf inside. I love this scarf. Why are you wearing it inside? Because I love it. It's the first scarf I've ever worn. And I just, I wear it every morning on the hike. And I don't know what. I don't, I don't know how to tie it like Jude Law or Chris Frangiola. Like Is that Chris camera Frangiola. crooked? See, the camera looks like it's crooked, but I don't think it is. Like on our screen, it doesn't look crooked, but up there, it looks kind of crooked. But I don't think it is because on the camera, everything looks straight. Like all these lines, I'm going off the lines on the wall. The lines look straight. We look straight. I guess. Why do you look so much taller than me? Because I am way taller than you. That's why. You sound like the people in the crowd who ask us, why is he so much taller than you? That's so dumb. (laughs) Um, But yeah, so. Let's just start. I guess we'll start from the top. And by the way, I'm psyched to be back doing this. Yep, me too. I want to say right up top, everybody, the response out on the road has been crazy. Crazy. Kind of nuts. And so we're so grateful and so dope. And um, and yeah, and so thank you for coming out to the shows and selling them all out. And right off the top. We're in, the shows in February are pretty close to sold out already. Salt Lake is all sold out. Since he has some room on Thursday, Thursday night, and one more show Friday late. Oh, okay. Um, and Nashville, which is three weeks from now already. The Saturday night shows are sold out. Friday early is sold out. Doesn't and shock so me. Friday late and Thursday are the only thing with a couple of tickets left. So Get them while they're there. Listen, man, if you're going to, if you in March, we're in Providence, we're in Austin, Texas, mm. we're in Canada. Mm. The weekend um, after my birthday. Yeah. Or the weekend before your birthday. After. It's the 24th. No, that's when we're in Alberta, Canada. So what's the weekend of like the 10th and stuff? Is that Providence? I thought, oh, the week is we're not traveling on my birthday. Right. I think the week before that is Providence, and the week before that is, I don't know, because the first weekend in April is Austin. That's the last weekend in March, like 31st. First, first yeah. So 24th is? Alberta. Are you sure? Pretty positive. 17th is your birthday. We're off. I'll probably be in Vegas, though. 10th? Rhode Island, I think. I think that first weekend is Rhode Island. And what's the second week? Do you want me to look? I can get it up real quick. Yeah, that sounds gross. Also, probably not false. (laughs) 
You know? What? <laughs> you know? What? I mean, but what? You know? No, I don't. Because you're old. That's my point. Oh, buddy. Um. Okay, so uh, last weekend in March is Austin. The weekend before that, the 24th, is Winnipeg. Oh, you were right. I know. 17th, I have a private function. Yeah. Okay, the 9th, 9th, 10th, and 11th were in Kentucky and then Maryland. Oh, that's right. That's right. We've and then s- Providence before that. We're starting to do little theaters. Um, and so we're doing a, or rock clubs. We're doing a rock club in Baltimore on March 11th. And we're at that. We're doing one night in Lexington. Yeah. And then one in Frankfurt. Is I think is what it's No, nah, that's a private though. Oh, as a private, you might want to talk into the microphone. Sorry, I was scratching That's my how face. That works. I don't know if you know how that works. Thank you. Anyways, um, boy, that was unprofessional, but that's the rundown. Hey, man, you go a lot of places. I wouldn't be able to remember. I'm amazed I remembered most of March. I know. I also just looked at that schedule today, though. So, and my my short term memory is not that great, but a little better than yours. I want to let you know if you can hear some snoring. That is Indiana Jones in the background. I wish you guys could see how cute he was. I would turn the camera if I could get it back to be exactly where it was, but God, it took me about so it, it took me about fifteen minutes to figure out how to get that camera on straight. So you know, he is the cutest little dude, man. That's a pretty good cute dog. You speaking of little dudes, my little dude loves having a backyard. Oh, here, man. He just Milo just goes out there in the morning. We'll let him out, and he just finds a patch of sun, and he just sits there. Doesn't do anything. It's great. Do you know what Indiana Jones has done in the backyard? Mm. So we, you know, we have tiny little bushes in the backyard. And every evening, not every evening, but however, whenever the sprinklers are scheduled to come on, they they piss a little. It's not a. Right. What I like about Vegas is most yards are like fake grass, mm-hmm. rock, two bushes. Because it's not, just too hot to maintain. Kill in the water. No. And so ours. And so he's systematically one by one with his pee killing each bush. If you look in the backyard, two of them are dead. He stopped peeing on them and he's moved to the third one. He's a serial bush killer. This dude. That's hilarious. That was my nickname in high school. Well, you. Oh, that's un, uh, actually a really good one. Um, he. Well, you know, when we first got him, he used to poop on trees. He still does. He literally, no joke, will press his asshole up against the tree and have the poop come out and sometimes the poop just sticks to the tree yeah. and doesn't fall he's actually pretty more magical of a poop he's more of a bush pooper now yeah, well, when we first got him he was a tree pooper yeah he likes to shit on bushes <laughs> um Weird anyways guy. guys the trip i went to australia and new zealand pre-pandemic and it was amazing and um i, I was at that time blown away that anybody from across the world was knew who the fuck I was and was going to leave their house to come see me. Right. This trip, we did that blown. It was crazy blown. It was absolutely insane. You know, we put the ticket, we put the schedule out in October and in November they were moving us to bigger venues or doubling up shows. So why don't we just start, We'll start at the beginning of the Australia trip. We may have to break this Australia into, into two pods and New Zealand into two pods because yeah. there's so much to talk about. But So much that happened in such little time, too. There were some cities we were in for two or three days, and there were some cities we were in for 19 hours. And uh, there's still there's sto- a story from from every city, at least. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And like angriest fucking seagulls I've ever met in my entire shit, life. That was New Zealand. That was also Australia. I just didn't get it. Like, where in Australia? Oh, no, no. The, the way we first saw them was Auckland. That was Auckland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And were they seagulls? They were just those little birds. I don't know. They looked like seagulls. They sounded like crying babies. I strongly disliked them. Whatever the they fuck they were. Like str- they looked like seagulls, but like shorter beaks, and they were much smaller, but they still had orange beaks and red and w- red webbed, you know, feet and. The coloring of Do seagulls have webbed feet, don't they? I know ducks do. I'm pretty sure seagulls have webbed feet. I guess. Do seagulls go in the ocean? Yes, probably. Right? Yeah, they definitely have webbed feet. You and I have had. By the way, we had a great. I can't wait to bring up the debate. I can't wait to bring up the debate we had when we got to Toronga. 
Oh, good pronunciation, broski. I'm trying to. Nice I can only roll. I can only roll my R for that one little one you heard. So that's oh, about God. it. Yeah. Um. But let's start in Australia. Well, let's start with the flight. Okay. We met. We flew out of LAX. So yeah. I flew down to LA from, from Vegas. Vegas. And um, night flight. Night flight. But who cares? You're flying 16 hours, so you're sleeping however long you, you can. did. Well, let, we'll get to that. So I, I decided. Did you hear the noise that came out of him? <laughs> here's what I decided. I was like, you know what we're going to do? Instead of, I couldn't afford to fly us both first class or whatever from LAX to Sydney and Sydney to Perth. I, you know what I mean? Who mm-hmm. am I? Tom Segura? I mean. And so. Apparently not. But. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But here's what I was like. I was like, you know what? Not really realizing how far the trip from Sydney to Perth on a plane was. I was like, I'm going to fly as business from LAX to Sydney. Which was. an economy from Sydney to Perth. And that was the same money as premium economy in both. Right? Yeah. So I was like, because business on that first flight LAX to Sydney, you feel fancy as Fuck. Man, I'll tell you this. I I can't, I've never understood how people sleep on planes for so long. Like I'm a plane sleeper. Like you know me, I can fall asleep anywhere. I'm usually asleep. You do. I'm man. usually asleep before the plane takes off, unless I'm in the exit row. If I'm in the exit row, I am awake to give my verbal confirmation, and then I am lights out. That is just how that works. Right. And I get on this flight, and I'm looking at the menu they put in front of us, and there's like an itinerary for what's going to happen on the flight and what meals were going to be offered. And I, it, it was very fancy. And then dude, it was, there was a bed. They gave you slippers, bro, this, pajamas, this bed, and a row. this seat legitimately went all the way flat down. But you know, what's crazy. I was still too, I was too tall. Yeah. You didn't remember. You didn't figure out until we got there. how to really, yeah, I bed. didn't figure it out until like the last five hours until I was kind of struggling with it. And then I laid it down and then I just scooted up in my seat and I was like, oh, see, that's that's what they don't tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You, you feel fancy. Yeah, because you they're around to check on you. Maybe too much. But every, they're like, do you want something? And look, man, if you come around and ask me if I want something free, I'll just say yes. Just see what you hand me. So I just was getting drinks and snacks and, you know. But but so we get on the plane. They give you a toothbrush and all that shit. Toothbrush, eye, rope. Eye mask. The slippers were great, but also only fit half of my foot. Did you them. take them? No, it only fit half of my foot. Like my heel was hanging off the back. because I it took was, everything they I, gave me. I, I just took. have too big a feet for those slippers. I fucking stole. I didn't steal. I just took it. I'm like, is this free? Yeah, well, I'll they're take it. probably not going to use them after you've put your feet in them. I, I'm taking them all. Fair enough. I took the eye mask. I, I, took I forgot the eye mask. I'm so mad about that. So I have my own eye mask though. Yeah, you have a snorrel mask, but we'll we'll get into that. Yeah, in a little my bit. My snorrel mask is the best. But so we get on there, and I was asking the flight attendant. I'm like, what's the best? move for sleeping right because right i want to make sure i get there and i'm i I sleep and i'm on the australian schedule for sleep i don't get there and have and she was just like i would just sleep when you're tired and i'm like huh it's a good answer that's a great strategy that's what we're gonna do by the way do i need these glasses for that far away yep (laughs) Um, <laughs> so sudden and quick realization for you. Well, I didn't earlier today, but I think the more I wear them, the weaker my eyes get. Yeah, they probably become dependent on the glasses. The glasses. Let's see how long that lasts. So it is a blurrier situation, that's yep. for sure. So, so, so let's tell them what you did on the flight, and then I'll tell them what I did on the flight. Well, here's what I was gonna do. I decided, but also, flight was just under 15 hours. It's like 14:40. I I was like, I'm going to watch a whole story, but a long one. So I decided I'm going to sleep as much as I can, but I'm also going to watch the best trilogy of all time. Is it? Is it not? What are you putting up there? So I watched all three Lord of the Rings. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good trilogy. I put that if it's not. Second, it's one A. 
But, well, because you could put something that would like be equivalent to it. Uh, I put Austin Powers above it. First of all, the difference of comedy and how funny between the spy who shagged me and Goldfinger is just unprecedented. Goldfinger is the best, which is, by the way, a great argument for why it's the best trilogy. The fact that the third one was, was the, the best, best one was getting better I, as it went. I understand that. Although well, I would say Lord of the Rings went better as well. Although, yeah, because there's a giant battle at the end. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. That first one was pretty good. That second one was great, dude. Oh my god, the towers is is like the second one is my favorite, a hundred percent. Second one's your favorite? Yeah, because you just get all the dark lore too, which I really enjoy, and it just you get really into like it's it's so. It's so there's so much going on, but at the same time, you're still getting so much story about what's happening, what's coming, what has happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I love that movie. There, ha- there aren't comedies like Austin Powers anymore. Silly, no, well written, well acted, irreverent, well acted, but also terribly acted. But well, but terribly Which acted. Part well, was terrible well, acting? you know, no, it's not terrible acting, but it's like cheesy acting. But they did it very well that's, but, that but that's the that's style. right right but that's what i'm saying is like looking at it today you're like oh it's kind of tacky but that was the point and the style that's how it was supposed to look and it was done really well you're not you're not seeing the compliment there's no insult okay good. there's no insult in it i, I mean, love look, man, i love those movies I, how many times did i watch those it, do do your best to do the line we like yes i can tell you a very toy <laughs> can tell you a toy by your toy pants yes yes you're toy like a toiger Whoosh. Oh, please, 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 please tell me you're not going to eat that piece of skin. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Very salty. Listen. I, oh, I, oh, yeah. Come to Papa. I <laughs> will defend and go to bat. I put it up against any whatever three Star Wars, even the original three that you want to argue. I'm taking Lord of the Rings over any of the stars. I'm taking Austin Powers. Lord of the Rings to me is number two. I just Without don't that. I don't know why it's number two. How about this? This is wasn't our- there also three Godfathers? Yeah, but the third one was a, a heaping pile oh. of doo doo stew. There you go. And here's the thing: it's hard for me to say that. I, 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 let me take that back. Compared to the first two, which were arguably both perfect movies, the third one just was a disappointment. Ugh. So it really, like, even if the third one was meh, you could put godfather in there but it wasn't meh it was meh yeah and also for any of those who try to say oh the hobbit was better than lord of the rings eat it nobody says that some people will zero I, people say that. i don't just want to make sure for anybody I, who does decide to say that and i get a dm about it you're wrong i, I will say you're, this you're wrong you're everyone's entitled to their opinion your Except opinion you, yeah. your opinion is wrong just know that the second and third hobbits were great the third well so the third hobbit actually has the most recorded on-screen deaths of any movie ever Ever at once. Second and third ones were great. That first one was a little slow moving. That first one, I mean, I could have died and came back to life. It was so slow. Yeah, Good it was a, God. A little slow. Like, I'm I'm cool with you getting the story, but literally just a story. I felt like I was playing Dungeons and Dragons the entire time, and I was man, I was sleepy. Good. It was like my, three hours still. You know what my God. favorite scene of any of the Lord of the Rings? And it's not my favorite scene. Maybe it's my favorite scene, but it's my favorite. I've said it more times. Is it more precious than anything? You shall oh, not yeah. pass. <sighs> yeah, no, I love that. You shall not pass. Sorry, it's okay, Rock. Uh, Indiana. <laughs> he woke. He woke India. And then when he goes, run, you fools. And then he just gets put. Oh, then he just falls. Yo, dude, it's pretty nuts. But what? Let's get back. First of all, Team yeah. Jacob, Team Josh, let's do this. Please it's let us e- know. It's not even a competition. I don't know why it should be a competition. Even Indy just said it wasn't a competition. He just shook no. Are you saying we shouldn't be competing? Oh, no. We saying- I'm, we can compete. I, I just can't wait to see the overpowering. Just like I was right about the animal argument in New Zealand, I'm right about this too. Yeah. It turns out you did know more about that animal than I did, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> that Team- might be a couple podcasts from now. Team Jacob, Lord of the Rings. Team Josh, Austin Powers. And listen, man, you shall not pass is pa- amazing. Did you say you pa- shall not pass? That's what he said. Right, but okay. Yep. 
I just like how you said the only word you said in some sort of an accent was pass, and everything else was just was just no accent. You shall not pass. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> because that's how he did it. You shall not pass. Uh, I was so it's cool. further away than you. I, I was. I was pretty on camera though. I was. It's on the further mark. away because you pointed out earlier when we were setting up the podcast that I'm louder than you. But that's why we gave you the mic that picks up less. Yeah. So, um, anywho, so that's Team Jacob and Team Josh. But I, I, I think if I know my crowd, and I don't want to pander. You, if we know your crowd, they're picking Lord of the Rings. Just because you're picking people who like comedy, that they're going to pick Austin Powers. Let's do this. For every one of these on every podcast, there has to be a bet slash punishment at the end. Nothing crazy like tattooed assholes or things like that. I did those two separately for you. But smaller, you know. Mm. Okay. Um, Like having to do goofy impersonations online. Goofy impersonations? Yeah, like I would make you do your best Batman. Do I get to get a Batman mask? Sure. No, Aww. maybe. <laughs> Are you wait, that's a roller coaster for you. Yeah, I would. Really do, I, if okay, I would do my best Batman impression if I lost. I, but I'm not saying that's it. I might make you do. But we should do the Batman impression. Where's Rachel? <laughs> Who's Rachel? That's what he says in the movie. Which movie? The Dark Knight. Where's Rachel? <laughs> Joker. Where's Rachel? He says that to Joker. Yeah, you know when the Joker and all his boys like invade that really nice like ball that Bruce Wayne is having, and then he comes busting in, and then they kind of throw out that slanted window, and he takes her onto the roof, and it's raining outside. And have you ever seen The Dark Knight? I know yeah, you have. Yeah, 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 yeah. That movie. That, however, that trilogy might also be up there. The yeah. du- the Dark Knight trilogy, trilogy, trilogy. The Dark Knight trilogy is the only set of any movies that DC has on the cinematic universe. That's it. Every other DC movie is just terrible. That first Wonder Woman was real good. Real good. Yeah, okay. Sure. But trilogy wise, and also those four, sure, I'll give Wonder Woman her, you know, her appraise. Um, those are the only four movies that DC has on Marvel. Any no questions asked. Yeah, I mean, look, man. The Dark Knight trilogy is the really Batman's good. were have been good. The original Batman obviously was arguably the best. Disagree, but then again, I grew up with the Dark Knight. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. and Christian Bale is my Batman. Look, man, it's hard to argue. I will say this: Where's Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna start doing that randomly and see <laughs> just <laughs> random spots and just see what happens. <laughs> no, don't beat it into the ground. <laughs> Uh, what, like tomato, tomato? Yeah, for fuck's sake. <laughs> he loved it. And then the next day, he was like, you've said it 70 times in less than 24 hours. Shut up. And you then didn't... I said it 70 times a day for the next 14 First days. First of all, I never said shut up. No, you you, no, you didn't tell me to shut up, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I wish I had. Exactly. Okay. okay. Here we what go. are we talking? Oh, Lord of the Rings. We're on, on the, the plane. plane. Team Jacob, Team Josh. You know what to do. Yeah. Um. So I watched, I had a hard time falling asleep. <laughs> I'm not sure why. And this, I well, watched so what, all three Lord of the Rings. They, he was asleep through all three of them. I slept for 12 hours. I slept for 12 hours out of the 15. I did not. I did. It was great. I, at the end of the third one, I fell asleep for like three hours. And then I smelled breakfast, and I'm like, that's free, right? So I should wake up. And- I was out I woke like up. a light. I was so asleep. I also just tried my hardest. Anytime I woke up, I was like, go back to bed. Do you know what? Keep your eyes closed. Do not even poke out of this. I, like, I threw the blanket over my head with the eye cover and a hood. I was like, you know, I ate your breakfast, too. That's fine. I ate your food on the way back from Sydney to LA. Did you? Yeah. It was a Reuben Toasty. It was fire. I did sleep that flight. You did, and I ate both of those Reuben Toasties in 35 seconds. All right, let's well, let's not get to the last flight. We're still on the first flight. Well, yeah, you know, okay, yeah, well, well, yeah, I'll come back to that. Okay, okay, so we um, so, fancy. Yep, all three Lord of the Rings slept, slept, um, and then an episode of NCIS. It was also like, listen, man, I'll tell you something right now. 
it is worth I was thinking to myself, should I save money and put it towards when we're in Australia? But that spending that extra money on that part of the trip well so worth, worth it. it. Oh my Holy goodness. Shit. But also I oh no, we'll get I'll get to the last fight when we get to that. Yeah. So we take that. I can't say enough about the what what would we fly out there? United. Yeah, it was great. Not gonna lie to you, I haven't flown United in a bunch of years. It was fantastic. Yeah, I agree. Um, but we land in Sydney. Is there anything else? And I, I had to write some of this stuff down, guys, just to make sure. No, I, I, I didn't miss it. I slept the entire time and then watched NCIS and then we landed. So I was good. You watched Lord of the Rings, all three. Did you watch anything else while we were on the plane after you slept? Um, no, then I slept for a couple hours and I had breakfast. No, I might have wa- I watched one of the Harry Potters. We we uh, see. I was gonna say how long that lasted. We uh we watched a couple of Harry Potters in the hotel rooms too. Yep. Because they're the UK or the Australian Netflix is just has so many better movies on it than the US Netflix does. Is Harry Potter not on our Netflix? Oh my God, no! It's on like HBO Max or something. No. Oh. Yeah. Um. So this is when we land in Sydney. First of all, beautiful airport. So much better than any airport I've what ever been to in the states. Disaster getting our bags. Was. Oh my God. So. In order to transfer from our international to a domestic, By because way, we had two and a half hours in between flights, plenty of time. Three, three, okay, three. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Three was the way back. We had plenty of time. Either way, we had a lot I think of time. It was three hours. We had a lot of time, and we had to go out of the airport to grab our bags to recheck our bags to then go back through the airport for like a domestic transfer, which I thought was. But our bags weren't out of the airport to pick them up. They were in baggage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But then we had to take like, we remember we had to take a shuttle to get to. Do you remember that they didn't know? They kept telling us that the bags were coming out on a different carousel. Oh yeah, because there were they there split. were two flights from LA, and then they split. They put some of the bags on one carousel and some on the other. And it took an hour so for us. We were just waiting for us to get our bags. It was first, it took more than an hour for any of the bags to come out to even show up. And then they were staggering them like every twenty minutes. We were in the last group. And then, but we were just going back and forth between two and five of the carousel numbers. So seeing which bag was going to come out first, I was like, oh, we're going to miss our flight to Perth. We finally get our bags and we get out there to the shuttle and the guy's like, the guy's like shuttles full and the couple in front of us is like, all right, we'll wait for the next one. No, I was like, Hey man, we're about to miss a flight. I'll stand with my luggage, but me and him are getting on with these three bags right now. And he was like, not happening. I was like, no, 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 it's definitely happening. And I just kind of started walking up and the guy was like, all right, come on, get on. And I was like, cool. Thanks, dude. And if you hadn't done that for miss, real, we would have missed, missed our, our flight, flight to Perth. hundred percent. So we were, uh, so I made it on there. By the time we got on, we got our bags checked. Security was a breeze. I, By the way, also for anybody who doesn't know, because we didn't know, you can just walk through security without a boarding pass and like walk up to your gate, like walk like family to the gate or go and receive your family right at the gate. Like, you know, customs getting into Sydney was zero. Zero. There wasn't any. We I printed that picture of me. We filled out a form and, and we walked through. And let me tell you, because I'm used to dealing and listen, man, I know it's a thankless job. You got people yelling at you all the time and I can't imagine. But yo... The people who work at the airport in Australia seem to like their job more than the people who do it. I would agree. Jeez. I will also say though, it just seemed like a bunch of friendlier people over there. Yeah. Maybe. Like even just like strangers were like, oh, hey man. Yeah. I'm like, oh, what's up? It was just an all around. But I did think you saved us on that getting to birth. Got gotta. We get to the domestic part of the airport in Sydney, and neither one of us. I've ever flown any some sort of Australian and, airline. And I realized why the second leg was so cheap. We were on this airline called Jetstar. Boy, was that interesting. Whenever I mentioned it in Australia, people just laughed at us. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, what are you doing? You, yeah. Nobody here flies Shitstar. Yeah, and I was dude, like, Gee. Honestly, I was like, who, who with the knowledge of that is putting us on that flight? I was expecting to see a live chicken run up and down the aisle. I, thought, like I that. thought I got hit over the back of the head with something there as I walked in. They're like, have a nice flight. 
they might as well have been like, hey, cut your legs off and put them in the overhead compartment. I they're mean, they're not going to fit in the seat. Look, man, I don't fit on regular flights, like regular, you know what I'm saying? Regular planes in the States. For some reason, there were so much less leg room on this flight. No plugs, no screens, no Wi Fi. Five hours. So many children. Spirit Airline minus eight inches of room on the seat. And the fight. Minus the fight, too. There's but, a fight. There's however, a- no leg room. I think there was a child in every other seat. Oh, how, however, though, shout out to the wait, was that in was that going to Perth? Is that really yeah, quiet? We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. Um no, 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 no. No, that, that, wasn't. No, that wasn't. Okay, that's that's what I was asking. Yeah. Um and uh yeah, good oh lord, I could not wait to get off that plane. The the if they had listed amenities, it would have just said get fucked. Yeah. There was not an amenity. They should have punched you in the face on the way in. I don't think they even just gave to be like this is what your fight's gonna be. I think when they asked if I wanted water and chips, they threw it at me. Yeah, and there was not <laughs> there was no free wa- chips. They gave the water bottles. Yeah. They had the water bottles. But other than that, every time I asked for it, they walked by and just like tossed it at me. It was not cold air blowing out of the vents. No. Why for the first half of the flight was it lukewarm? Hot. So hot. Hot. I don't get that. It was hot in the city. I needed to change their hot air filters in the, the plane tonight. I don't. I just. I just. And so I asked about, is there any seats we can upgrade for extra leg room? And they were like, this is it. So it explains why I was like, well, we got business and the, a business is still this cheap. That's because they probably credited my account for the Jetstar. Like it was. Yeah. And I don't think it was business. What on the way to LAX to Sydney? No, to Perth. No, it was. Oh no, you just did a, you did economy on that one. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was whatever is less than economy. Coach. No, coach and economy in the states are the same. This was more like um, just a nut kick. The barracks. It, it was a, it, and to be on a flight like you know not only that you get a little. <coughs> I know this sounds like first world people problems. But you get a little spoiled because you're expecting to be able to charge your phone on the plane. Mm. It was, it was, it was was a lot. It was a lot. No leg room, hot. No anything. Our bags, our bags made it though. They were beat the fuck up though. Yo, what happened? Oh my god! When we got them from, there were footprints on. When we got them, I know, right? We got them from LA to Sydney. I forgot to, we forgot to mention that. There was the rubbering near, like all around our zippers was just like torn off. Like Dirt. there was, it was like they literally at LA was just like, oh, that's cool, and just I swear there was peanut butter on my bag. I don't understand why it looked like they had used it for goalposts and were playing yeah, like pretty crazy soccer on the tr- in the tarmac. But once we get to Perth and get our bags, we. We, I had my, when we get to Perth, I think I had my 40th coffee of the day, bro. Yo, I went coffee. We were, crazy. we had to, we had to hang out at the airport a little bit because there was some, a miscommunication with our, our, our generous uh, host for the weekend. He was like our handler. That's yeah. dirty, but it isn't. His name was Nick. Nick, shout out. Nick was absolutely stellar Top for notch. 100% and a good guy. He uh, joined us on our on an excursion on one of our days, uh, but they had sent him the wrong info and thought we, he, we were flying in from Singapore two hours later. Um, <laughs> Yo, how dope so, would that have been if we had flown into Japan? I, what a, the, I don't, I don't think Singapore's in Japan. No, I think you're right. Pretty sure it's not actually. You're it's right. Southeast Asia. Yeah. Anywho. Um, you're hundred percent right. Oh, I know I am um, because they're all on my list of places to travel. Yeah. Um, and so, he that picked us up. How much I know about the world. Yep, geography not his not his best. Or geometry. Oh, I'm in. Well, I'm in the boat with that probably. All I know is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and I don't know when I've used that in my life because pretty sure said, that's not geometry. Uh, that's the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's used in geometry to tell you like the shapes and the area of like shapes. That's geometry. I don't think the Pythagorean theorem is Team Jacob or Team Josh. It's the Pythagorean theorem yeah, part. But that's easy because they. I got, just, but I got to know. Like I'm pretty sure that was part of geometry, but also used I in like algebra. Lit. You think the Pythag you think the Pythagorean theorem is triangles? Is that what you're thinking? The Pythagorean theorem Pythagorean theorem is 
triangles. It's how to find the area of a triangle. Wait a second now. Yeah. Now look, man, my algebra days and geometry is many years ago. Yeah. Is that algebra or geometry? Those are two different courses, Your dude. Your computer's going to die. Is it? I told you to get your charger. Well, you might have to distract them for a little bit while I go get it. Okay, you want to do that? No, let's do it right now. Uh, I'll be right back. We were talking about algebra, but then also before that, we were talking about uh, our handler. Downstairs. It's, I think it's near on the kitchen table. or like On the counter. There. Yeah, yeah. Okay. BRB. Don't, 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 don't put it on the seat so it doesn't make that noise. What, this noise? He's talking to my dog, not me. I think now look, let me just math is not my you know what I was good at in school? Cheating off other people's papers. That's what I was good at. Bullshitting creative writing classes. Actually, that's not true, man. I think I did all right in math. I didn't do okay in science. I couldn't that periodic table fucked me up chemistry i was interested in biology physics seemed look man physics super important but i've said it a million times it's a good thing i'm not the smartest person in the world we would all be outside naked and real hungry you know i uh, this is not this is not the the brain for that type of figuring out now if you want to figure out how to make a story funny. I can do that. If you want to figure out a good practical joke, I can do that. If you want to figure out how to change the words in a song to make it humorous, I can do that. But if you want to figure out what a squared plus B squared plus C squared is, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. Equals C squared. I would plug that into the other side of this. Nope. Plug that into that. That's right. And then that into the other side of that. Is that how that works? Yeah. Welcome back to two guys who don't know anything about audio video equipment. Welcome to Math with the Wolves. I'm your host. Well, first, (laughs) we've had to restart a couple of times. Yeah. One time my mic just stopped working. Yep. I now have to hold my mic a little further away and talk a little quieter because (laughs) for some reason my mic is a super loud. We can't quite figure out how to get the audio balanced and then the camera. Listen, but we're back. We were going to do a couple cities in this podcast. I also feel like we have more headroom than we've had before. No, it's a little more, but I'm going it based off of like, this right here, the space between Elvis's TV and the books. And it was a little less than that, but it's about right. Okay. So we were going to do two cities of podcast, but even though we've only done 36 minutes of recording, we've been trying to record for, for two, two hours. hours. <laughs> so, you know, that's just kind of how it happens for us. You also just should get a better thing so your thing's not crappy. So we wouldn't have problems. Better what? That that thing. You say it can only be in a certain spot or else it doesn't work. You no, did. no, no. It just wiggles out, man. It's it's not meant to be hung upside down or moved around. No, no. I get that part. But when we plug it back in, why didn't it just work right away? Well, it, it's just the program. You got to go back to the beginning and start it over. Yeah, see, so you said that because that's what I told you, didn't you? Right, but that still is the truth. Yeah, but maybe I'll get you a new one. A new one would do the same thing. Tomato, tomato, I guess. He said that like a thousand times on this trip. A day. Holy fuck, tomato, tomato. He said it. He was like, tomato, tomato. I'm like, oh my God. People say it's like tomato, tomato, but it's tomato, tomato. Okay. You know, you get that reference if you get it. If you don't, then you don't. That's Which is the true, which is true for everything. Yeah. Either you get it or you don't. Bingo. Welcome to life. So, (laughs) 
We're in Perth. We just got no. off a Jetstar flight. No. We've already done the Rekabite. That's not where we are right now, is it? No. The Pythagorean, we're, we're Nick picks us up from the airport. Oh, yeah. We did that. Guys, we did another like 20 minutes and we realized my yeah. mic wasn't working. Yeah. So, so I got to go back. We're so back. we're at the airport. Yeah. We got Nick picked picks up. us up. We drive us to the new hotel, to the hotel. Yes. It was great. Cool hotel, nice gym, great view. Um, we originally thought that we were doing a show at the... Uh, I will say this, though. Can I say something real quick? I mean, if you want to just jump on it, go ahead. This is when I figured out that my particular health issues were going to be a problem the whole trip. Even right. this first hotel. So, I, guys, I, I have some mold issues in my body. Not just because that's not an old joke. But I've got a little, I've Could got be. high levels of mold and oh, I just found a hair right on the outside of my ear. I want to pull it so bad, but I'm not going to. Well, you're going to save it for mom. Yeah. Um, and so it's just a moldier, damper, and I got to be in new, 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 or it's really the HVAC systems. It's a lot of things, man. You know, if you don't have mold issues... If you spill something on the rug in a hotel room, you're like, whatever. But I come in two weeks later and it fucks me up. So I knew right away, I was like, oh, I'm going to have, this is going to be tough. Because this was a pretty new, clean hotel. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Well, it was fucking me up. Great breakfast. Great breakfast buffet. I had 79 espressos. This is where I figured out that he figured out a difference between, or he figured out that nobody did like a drip coffee like they do in the States. Um, so he just kept ordering flat whites or like, well, they were like, can you win a black coffee? And I was like, yeah. And they would give me an espresso shot. And Jacob will tell you, I'm not good at sipping. It's a shot. He's taking it like a shot. He just throws it back. What's the sip? I don't understand. It's because like it's, this. It's like this. So powerful, though, is why you're only supposed to drink a small amount, but not like a shot. How can a human being just sip that? I don't. I. I just. I don't have that in me. By the way, you're the only human being I know who doesn't just sip it. I am a consumer, guys. I mean, not, not when I say consumer, I'm not not a dude who just goes out and buys a bunch of stuff. I consume what's in front of me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I want to tell them that chicken liver parfait story, but I don't know. That's too many cities in advance. That's Sydney. Yeah, we'll have to wait until Sydney. Um, Ridiculous. It's it's really hard to concentrate just hearing him lick himself in the background. Yeah, I know. Uh, So we we had a great... Can you guys hear the noise? We had a great (laughs) Mediterranean food that night, Lebanese food. I thought it was really good. Breakfast, we're going to do our favorite food in every city. Breakfast was really good at the buffet, but... a butter chicken fried rice. Oh, you had that, yeah. It's also where we learned that the Foot Lockers in Australia and New Zealand actually carry decent shoes, Nikes, yep. that you can't get in the States at the Foot Lockers. Yep, that are all being resold online. Yep. Um, I kind of figured that that was going to happen. I just didn't know what I was going to find. Yeah. Found a pleasant amount of stuff. Nothing in my size, though, because, you know, in in my size, for between 11 and a 12, or pretty much anything 11 and up, they make less and less amounts of that size because mm-hmm. they're not so common right so they make like the most amount of shoes between nine and ten and a half that's where your like prime nut shoe is so if you also want to like resell a shoe for the largest amount that's usually the areas that you go in but the higher you go up in size is the harder they are to get and also that makes them also more expensive because yeah i saw some dunks in there i really liked there was dunks there was ones there was fours there was fives there was there was twos. They had yeah. all the twos out, which was cool. Um, they had a lot of good shoes. And by the way, also, just the sneaker culture over there in general with the shoe stores that we saw. Yeah, really good. And awesome. Really good. So good. We, I will tell you, so I, I would wake up early wake up. in the morning because I wanted to reset my clock. So I would wake up at, for sunrise and take like a two or three mile walk. We've already talked about this, right? Was this on the... No, this one what of the just, podcasts this that we, we re- recorded. Yeah, this is what we just talked about. So keep going. You're good. Okay, I'm having a like a flashback. Old man moment. Um, Fever dream. I would wake up every morning and and do like walk like two or three miles before Jacob. Jacob found out this trip that there. I I keep the pedal to the metal. Not me. I, I would like to I would like to sleep. I would like to enjoy my time waking up and I would like to not be rushed. I, and guess what? 
How many miles do you think we walked every day? At least five. Oh, yeah. But also, you walked almost five before I got up. Well, not, but probably three. Yeah. Pace yourself. Man, by the end of this trip, you were a uh, tired. But also, we took a lot. We of did flights. a lot of flying, dude. We did like flights. twelve flights in sixteen days or fourteen days. It turns out, and a three-hour drive. Yeah, it was a it was a great. lot of flights. Um, but but yeah, I, I walked. Man, I like to see the cities, you know, and I like to walk. And and I have this weird thing where if I stop, feel like if I stop moving, I'm gonna just stop moving. Yeah. See, I feel like it's like if that's fine, but. I feel like you should just pace yourself because moderation. I feel like if you're constantly moving because you think if you're not constantly moving, you're going to slow down faster. But I feel like if you're constantly moving the old and as the older you get, you keep up that pace. You're going to burn out faster. Yeah, man, I don't work out as intensely as I used to. Right. But I definitely try to stay in motion. Yeah, like you were flexing your pecs at dinner. <laughs> he was like, just got to keep the blood moving. I'm like, what do you think you are? Yeah, dying? I, I was you? also like, doing it to bother you. He would see, I would be sitting across from him, bouncing my pecs up and down. And he was like, are you fucking. I, I wouldn't have to look up. I'd be eating bouncing? my food and I'd, I'd be eating, be like, are you flexing your pecs right now? Like cutting my steak. It's, Ridiculous. It was, by the way, the food, food was amazing. We had so many great meals. <laughs> Best meal in Perth, though. Uh, well, well, we we perform it uh, that night at a place called the Recabite. Mm-hmm. We had started at a comedy club, sold it out. So they moved us to a place called the Recabite, which was a cool little theater where they do live. It looked like a, like a Mad Maxi, three levels, had some they cage like, looks. Yeah, they did like did smaller, some drag did shows, some drag there. shows, with smaller music events. We ended up doing we we they put one sale one show on sale, sold out. So they had another one. So we went from comedy club. The two shows at this place called the Recabite. Super cool theater. Super cool. super cool staff. At every city, um, I bought a guitar and gave it away at the end of the show. Yep. Because it was just gonna be too much of a pain in the ass to fly with the guitar, and I didn't want to worry yep. about picking up oversized stuff at the end. I just wanted to get off the plane and leave. And mm-hmm. and plus, honestly. Made travel so much better. You not having a guitar, I'm gonna be so honest. It was honestly, dude, like also super gratifying. You know, this stage of my life, I'm really into minimal effort, maximum result shit. Right. And it was I wasn't buying like a fucking Martin guitar in every city. Oh, not like a Gibson. It was like a two hundred dollar guitar. Yeah. And I know, look, I'm not poo-pooing two hundred dollars, guys, but like it was super gratifying to buy the guitar, have Jacob and I and sign it and give it to somebody. It was just a super cool feeling to do that. Yeah, it was dope. And to see people that were excited about receiving. Yeah, yeah, it was really. Well. And so the crowds in Perth, I want to tell Perth, listen, guys, we love you. The rest of Australia talk shit about you. So much shit. A lot of shit. Which also, by the way, I don't get. I liked the city. I felt like it was quiet, but also still kind of lively. There was that weird Red Bull basketball event that was going yeah, that on. That was weird. Right yeah. It's like there was stuff happening. We went it's- to a zoo and we pet a kangaroo. And a koala and a wallaby. The When we went to... We had like three minutes left for the koala pictures and we ran up and I wanted to pet the koala and, and the woman was like, oh, sh- should I do the accent? No, you can. She's a bit curious. Was She's it- a bit curious. And my dad would kept trying to like put his hand closer to like figure out what she meant by curious. And the woman was like, she's. She's like, be, be careful. She's like curious with her mouth. Yeah, and, and I was like, that's goes, gross. And dad goes, what do you mean? And I go, she's going to bite you. Pull your hand away. Yeah, just tell the grown man. You don't, I'm not a child. Don't yeah. say curious with your mouth. Yeah, I, I get like for a child, you don't want to scare them and have them get scared and then scare the animal. He's a grown man. You should just tell me that this thing is going to bite me so I can move my head. Definitely don't tell me that the animal's curious with her mouth. Yeah. Tell the wrong person that. Gross. Yeah. So, but we did, we saw a giant fucking eagle. We saw the other non as giant, not not as giant eagle who was spread eagle out on the floor. I'd never seen an eagle laying on the I, ground like I that. I think that's why they call it spread eagle. Whoa. Right? I think. Dude. Did I just like uncover some like national treasure shit? Because I think I did. No. Maybe you got no argument for that because it was on the ground, wings, wings spread out. flat on the ground, like he was suntanning. But spread, spread eagle. eagle. 
It was a legit, legitimate eagle that was spread out. Do you remember that fucking emu that was chasing that kid? Yo, that was so funny. There was this. I should post that video. (laughs) There was an emu and then the emu's child who were behind the gate. And then they were walking kind of like the perimeter of their, uh, uh, not cage, encampment is what? Yeah, okay. Area, right? And as they were walking, this small toddler is like once tried kept, keeps trying to reach his hand and to pet the baby emu. And the mother is so pissed. Because every time he puts his hand in, she hisses and like Well, not in, couldn't put it in. Or like on the outside of the fence. Yeah. The mother would like peck at the fence and and like hiss and get really angry. And I was like, man, would I love to see Yo, that emus kid get pecked by an emu. Emus and ostriches are just ugly. I want to ride an ostrich. What? They run like 40 miles an hour. Wow. Who's putting, who rides an ostrich? I don't know. That seems like a Jumanji situation. Jumanji me up, dog. Yo, you Sa- can't saddle me up on one of them there ostriches. I would like to ride it. Why are they, but why did they get made so ugly? The emu's eyes are too far apart. It's an all around, not a great looking animal. Yeah. The emu looks but like Nick run. Van Exel. They do. I don't know who that is. You just dated yourself. Um, yeah, maybe. Probably. Yeah. Um, they're just not good looking animals, but they do run very fast. Yeah, but they and they'll fuck you up. Yeah, they can. The, also is stru- it the emu or the ostrich that has that nail that'll fuck that'll that claw that'll gut you? I think that's or is that a velociraptor? The little cow is a velociraptor. But I think the emu has it too. Or the ostrich. I think the ostrich has got it. Could be one of them. Anyways. And then the guy who took us, Nick, knew about a- every bird, any animal. We'd go up and I'd start reading things, and then he would start saying some stuff out loud. And it was like I was—it was like he was reading what I was reading, but wasn't looking at what I was reading. It was really strange. But he, he knew was very insightful. He had a lot of good knowledge. Knew why they were going extinct, if they were going extinct. He even about anything, just like general knowledge, not even just about birds or the animals. Any question we had on the trip about pretty much anything, Nick had an answer for. And which I you, thought was, you know what I'm saying? Which was really, and it was like a precise answer. Like by the way, you don't know strange. this, but if he didn't have the answer, he texted it to me later. That's amazing. You, I have some th- things. W- there were some things you had asked him. You remember with that metal? He was like, they mine for whatever that metal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I go, what is that? He goes, I'm not sure. When we got back to the hotel, he sent me a whole article on it. He used to send you trivia facts too, which I thought was really funny. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I enjoyed Nick. Nick was a good guy. Great guy. Great yeah. guy. Great guy. Now, when we got back from that Perth, it wasn't a zoo, but whatever it was. It was a zoo. It was a zoo. Um, and by the way, I love going to the zoos in Australia and New Zealand because you see things, especially like rodents and birds, that you just don't see here. Like a quokka. A really cute animal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, like that a, little yeah, quokka. Quokka. Do you know they don't have, you know what we found out when we were in Australia, New Zealand? They don't have squirrels. Yeah. How lucky are they? I know. Yes. Or raccoons. Or raccoons. They do get opossums, though. Not called an opossum, just a possum. Opossum. O is silent. Opossum. Opossum. It's not an opossum. Yeah, it's possum, a po- opossum. It's a possum. Opossum. Opossum, possum, you know, same thing. You know what I'm talking about when I say opossum, don't you? Yeah, but I don't want you to say it. But you know what I'm talking about, though, right? Yeah, but if you know what I you know, if I said elefante, you would know what I was saying too. But that's not right. Yeah, but I don't elephant. I kind of like elephant. If I said, you have, did you see the elephant? Yeah, I would say yeah. I saw the elefante. But, but we know what we're talking about. But that's not right. Opossum isn't correct, is it? It was an opossum. It's a possum. It's a it's spelled opossum. All right, we're going to pass all over this. We're going to oh, pass this. I really was wondering how long he was going to go with it because, well, I was starting to think if it was, if I was wrong, but I'm not wrong. No, I, I got you to a point where you almost did think you were wrong, though, which was great. That was one of your jokes, by the way. I, I, I didn't care for any of that. I just kept saying opossum over and over again to see how long you would keep. Oh, you pulled a me on me? Yeah, yeah. I hate it when you do that. <laughs> I did that the other night at dinner, too. It was great. <sighs> yeah. We had our best meal in Perth that afternoon. Oh, when we got back from the zoo? I would say we had our worst meal in Perth that night at that place we walked down the street. Oh, yeah. When I worked. Yeah. Oh, my God. Absolutely. 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 
But the best meal yeah, was a place was called from. Hunter and Barrel. And there was literally just something that said Hunter's Feast for Two. It Honestly, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what was on it. Hit it. It was a giant cutting board full of meat. Yo, they, had, meat. they had something called South African Sausage. Yeah, it was like a it was like a coiled up sausage. It was delicious. They had beef rump on it, which was great, um, which is like the ass of the cow, but it was delicious. They had grilled chicken. They had what else did they have? Pork ribs. Oh, they had ribs. That's right. Oh my God. And then they had those the mashed potatoes and the broccolini, mm-hmm. which was all. And it came with garlic butter. It was all pretty awesome. All the meat was oh, and really the good. Calamari I had before that. Oh, yeah, that was our best meal there. For sure, best meal in Perth. Hunter and Barrel, for sure, for sure, would go back and maybe try something different, but I would for sure have that Hunter Feast again. Now, looking back on, because now hindsight being what it is, I don't know if I can rate the cities because they all had such... But also, we were only in some cities for 24 hours. We were in other cities for right, three days. So hard to rate Sydney because we were there for 18 hours. Yeah. Perth, we were there for almost three full days. Yeah, you know what? It's crazy. Because we were only there for 18 hours and didn't experience anything, for this trip, Sydney would be four out of four for me. Last but trip. still such a cool city. We yeah. found that clothing there. Like, I don't know. Sydney, Is that Sydney we found clothing? Yeah. No. That's where we had that liver pate. We'll get to that. Well, that's going to be another episode. Sorry, we're everywhere. Um, But I really enjoyed Perth, man. I, I yeah, I did too. There were so many good things. Let me tell you something about Perth. Some good sneaker stores in Perth. You'd be surprised. Head I to also, Soul was one of them. Everyone with a tattoo and piercing who walked down the street knew who we were. Crazy. It was like, is this my demo here in Perth? I guess so. It was it was your demo in Australia. You had a lot of pierced and tattooed people. I, I gotta tell you, and we're we're not gonna be able to do more than this, even though it seems like you guys to be a short podcast. We've been trying to do this for, for two hours. Four hours, it feels like. Um I was overwhelmed. I hope you all can hear how loud he was drinking that water. Holy shit. I mean, what? I can't wait to see what that sounds like when we play it back. Because I put it right, right up to my face. <laughs> Fucking. Um, he hates that. It, it Perth was such a cool jumping off spot. Yeah. To be like, oh, is this what the reception's going to be? Yeah, it was a great it was a great first step and a great first stop of the tour for sure. Um it only got more eventful from there. It was it was pretty but it was an outstanding start to a wild two weeks. Two weeks we did it, dude. Yep. Is this? Are we just gonna do one episode per city? Probably. I mean, we're we're about at an hour right now for just Perth because we talked about that flight for like thirty minutes, and about how Lord of the Rings is a better trilogy, better trilogy than Austin Powers. It isn't. It is. I'm really fascinated to see if they're gonna be able to make this audio work. No, I mean, I think so. I hope so. We're gonna have to see what that first one sounded like because if my voice was that loud in the first one. Good fuck. We might be screwed. All right, everybody. We love you. We might be doing this again. Come see us on tour. Campfire tour in your city. Check out my website, comedianjoshwolf.com. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go subscribe. Um, We post new videos there over there all the time. I'm posting a new hour. Uh, It's just called Josh Wolf's Weird Stories. It's a compilation of weird stories that I've told on stage, plus weird interactions that I've had from live shows. Uh, it's a good time, man. That sounds like fun. Yeah. And it it's Jake Wolf. Where? It's Jake Wolf on TikTok, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, I've quit my day job, and I'm joining Josh Wolf on the road full time. So if you would like to come ask some questions or you would like to come see us and get some answers, or finally hear my side of the story. Now is your time. I forgot to tell you. Yeah, we do a Q&A at every show. So, for the and, love of God, please raise your hand. Yeah, people always raise their hand. Yeah, except at Christchurch. 
Like I couldn't stop thinking about the joke you had told earlier about Christ the cigarette. Church. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll get to that. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope this worked. We're probably gonna have to do it again. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Later. Later. <laughs>